So anyway, this bill is trying to make it so the president will have a list of anyone he deems responsible for any of this, and then the U.S. will blacklist those people from entering America. But here's where the reward for the U.S. really comes in. Anyone the president puts on this list who has money, property, or investments in America can have them seized or taken away. But it's not just if they have those things in America, it's also any time those things enter America. If a plane flies over American airspace, everything aboard owned by anyone on this list can be taken away immediately. It's also if any of those things come into possession or control of an American. This is a big money grab. I'm not a lawyer, but as I read it, this would make it legal for the United States to confiscate all assets from theoretically any Chinese person, including Hong Kong residents. All the president has to do is write a name on a list. Technically, it doesn't even specify the nationality of the people, so it could theoretically be anyone in the world. On top of that, anyone who tries to get around the government confiscating their possessions can be imprisoned for up to 20 years and fined for up to $1 million. So if you find out you've been put on the asset kill list by the president of the United States, and then you try to call your friend to send you your stuff, he could be put in prison for helping you, even if he doesn't know the situation. All the president must do, again, is just put you on a list. Then the bill mentions some reporting, and it's over. To me, it looks like the U.S. is trying to do these things. One, force China to accelerate the timeline for Basic Law Article 45 and change the definition of it to promise suffrage, which it currently does not. Two, force China not to adhere to Basic Law Article 23 so that the U.S. can continue to take political actions in Hong Kong. Three, reinvigorate the rioters by giving them special advantages when it comes to visas. Four, gain financial leverage on Chinese or Hong Kong people who have assets in America. So that's it. That's the so-called Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. Before we go, I just want to leave you with a definition. Imperialism. A policy or ideology of extending a nation's rule over foreign nations, often by military force or by gaining political and economic control of other areas. As an American, I would like to apologize on behalf of my country. I can't stop them. They think they're saving the world by taking it over. I'm doing everything I can. I'm sorry. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.